Communication Breakdown by Led Zeppelin. What a fantastic riff and we're going to be covering how to play it. Uh, this is very much a lesson on how to get more speed because this is played at kind of breakneck speed, especially if you're a beginner. But the easy chords in this make it very doable for a lot of people. Uh, the tab is in the description if you want to check that out. But please subscribe if you do enjoy this video and let's get you straight in for a close up now. <laughs> Communication breakdown, what a riff. We're gonna play this in the simplest way possible and then look at a couple of harder options. But uh, we're mainly using the power chord uh, from level three of my beginner's course, the one-fingered E chord, where we put our first finger at the second fret of the fifth string and we play the thickest two strings, string six and string five. And then we use palm muting which is where we put the outside of the palm of our hand right here right next to the saddles here on on the bridge of the guitar and just rest it around here until we get this kind of sound now you're going to need some overdrive on your guitar amp setting for it to sound like this otherwise it will sound a lot more kind of like this when you're uh, when you're when you're playing it and that's that's not enough overdrive we need quite a bit more which is all done on your amplifier really i just took the volume down there for a the quick demo of it but we need this nine times one two three four one two three four one we never really count past four when we're counting kind of guitars it should really be one and two and three and four and one but kind of if you're a total beginner one tends to be a bit easier it's seven that gets in the way seven has two syllables so kind of as fast as you can do it but for the time being we'll kind of go at this speed And you're looking for that sound now it's all about where once your guitar amps set up to an overdrive setting um, which I have lessons about on my website it's all about where you put your hand on this um, distance from the bridge here so you need to find the sweet spot which is right there if I'm too far this way and I press on too hard it completely chokes it out and if I'm too far this way it stops it stops sounding like this. That's what we're looking for. Too much. That's where we want. Just when that bass kicks in. That's not enough at all. And the two chords after that, we play a D major chord as standard. We don't play the thickest two strings on the D. And then the one fingered A chord. Which is also at level three of my beginner's course. Yeah, level three. Again. So it's two bars um, for pretty much the whole song. One finger A, D, and then you just basically play it, play it at break net speed. How do you play it that fast, I hear you ask? For a lot of people that, that may not be that fast guitar playing, but for a lot of beginners it is. There's a relaxation in the wrist where I'm not digging into the strings, there's no tension in my wrist, and it's entirely a wrist motion. Okay? Very, very relaxed and very small motions. I'm not doing it like this. See, a lot of beginners kind of thinking like this. You can't do that quickly. You can't do this quickly. It's more just like a, a judder, really. And um, just holding the pick between my first and first finger and my thumb, akin to how I teach at the start of my beginner's course in the basics level. And that 
repeats throughout all the verses and is the intro as well. Let's do that four times in a repetition. Play along to me and then we'll learn the chorus section. In one, two, three, four. That's how to play it. Bit of a tip with the palm muting, stick your pinky out like you're drinking a cup of tea in a very posh English way. Because what that does, stops the thinnest strings ringing out. So my little finger is like this, and the rest of my hand is not there. It's not in like this how you might pick other, at other times. The little finger is like this, kind of hooking the other strings. This off. Strings. Let me have a think. That angle's probably best. That's what you're looking for. That real go 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 sound. Um, perfect. Here we are with the chorus now. Um, easiest way to do it is with an air power chord. It's always the same. And then a B7 power chord. Then we go back to normal. So A5, which is this power chord. And then we need to hit um, an A7, which I would actually normally do like my A chord from the beginner's course, but without the first finger. That's the idea. And how many do we do? And then the B5. So it's kind of eight of them and then five of them. B7. Okay, let me be a bit more specific there. Okay, and repeat. Next speed, that's the hard thing about it. So let's have a bit of a playthrough of that chorus section. You could also just kind of keep it going. So kind of one, two, three, four. For four bars and then B. And then go back to the rhythm. Um, but let's have a quick playthrough of just the chorus with... Okay? One, two, three, four. Cool, so I have on my website the uh, backing track for this song and when you download that for free for following my links on the website you can slow it down using various different programs you can slow it down using audacity you can slow it down which is a free program audacity that i'll be talking um, you guys through that are doing more electric guitar stuff primarily um, you can slow it down with various apps that are free from the app store can't remember the name of them off the top of my head because it changes which ones i recommend but the links to those um, sort of things that are really going to help you um, are at the website on this uh, web page uh, links in the description where this lesson is also embedded and you can play along with me there 
that's the end of this lesson for communication breakdown. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you did enjoy this lesson. To check out more of what I offer on this channel, click either of the two videos we have here. Uh, the links are also in the description and in the top corner. I will see you in another lesson of mine. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.